What's up guys, Sam from Cubi Studios here, going up against Ishizu Ishtar with the Light Swarm deck, which is possibly my least favorite deck to go up against. So let's see if my expert mode streak will continue, or if I'll get destroyed. Something tells me it's not going to go well. Now I went ahead and selected a deck at random this time, because I actually didn't remember what deck I used last time, and just happened to get my uh, typical alien deck, so I'm okay with that. I think it's the, it is the alien with XYZ. Well, actually, I got rid of the old alien deck just because this is pretty much the same except for two less cards in the main deck and then a bunch of extra cards, so it's just way better in every shape and form. So there was no reason to keep the save file of the old alien deck, especially because I've got so many decks. I think I've only got like two or three open spaces left. I actually don't know if they're limited or not, but we'll see. Oh, excuse me. I was looking at my phone. What is this? So the top three cards of the deck... What? What would I even activate here in response to that? Oh, I mean, yeah, I guess I could activate that, but what? Fuck it. Sure. Then... Defense mode. Why not? Just so... it's Because they would keep asking me every turn, like, do you want to activate this? No. Oh, I hate Light Sworn decks. Oh, I hate them. Yep, there we go. Saw that one coming. This is it. This is GG right here. I should actually probably use a delay deck against a light sworn deck. That would make the most sense if I used a, car a deck that was just like, yeah, I've got a lot of cards. In fact, if I lose this duel, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, Brainwashing beam. Let's go. That's got 2400, so nothing I can do really well. No, actually, I don't have enough monsters for United We Stand yet, so let's just set Alien Mars for now. What does this do? Each time a card is sent from your deck to the graveyard by the effect of a light, remove the top. Oh, no! That's annoying. Hopefully, that doesn't happen with any good cards. Discard one, draw two cards. Jesus. So this is going bad. This is go Oh, this is going so bad. This is why I hate Light Sworn decks, just because so much stuff happens, and I guess a good counter to a Light Sworn deck is just a deck that, like, uh, mm, they'll let you just hold them off and let them draw themselves out, because obviously they're using the, uh, the point of the, wait, during each of your end phases. Yeah, okay. Boom, give me this. So I'll have another turn to use that. Hopefully I can sacrifice it or some shit. Ooh, that's scary. Which is a hundred higher than this uh, Light Swarm monster I just took. So you could probably, I don't know, it was at the end phase. But now I can't attack with the monster that I just took, so that's sweet. What's its effect? You can target one spell or trap card your opponent controls. This card's battle fit. Shouldn't cannot be changed to the river, did that? Oh, that's lame. I, what if I equipped... I don't want to equip United We Stand to it, because I don't want to like, lose it. Should be one alien monster. Destroy all face-up monsters without... Probably going to have to do that. That's probably going to be a thing. Okay, activate effect. Let's get rid of... What is this? This card is sent from your deck to the graveyard. You can equip one light spell monster. Nope. Let's get rid of this, I guess, just because... I have no, I'm not going to be able to attack anything with that. And then let's set this. I needed a face up monster. I should have summoned it because it goes right into defense position. I'm slipping up. I'm getting flustered about the fact that it's a light sworn deck. God, that's going to cost me. Can I still do that? Oh, it just has to be a... Okay, never mind. Wait till they summon something then. There we go. And now I'll use it. Okay, it, didn't, it doesn't have to be face up. Never mind. I almost panicked. Totally. Get the fuck out of here, alien psychic. Boom, 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 boom. Are you kidding me? It was. What? Oh, that's just BM. Oh, that's so dumb. Are you kidding me? I did all that just to fucking go right into losing, or just 6,000 attack. What well, fuck? <sighs> okay, cool. Glad I got this card. 
During each of your standby phases. Wow, yeah, cool. Oh, uh, and then I can activate this, right? And then, uh, whoop. So good thing I got a monster with a decent level attack. That was awesome. Ah. Uh, God damn it. It was not even an alien monster that I got left. Alright, so that is the end of my expert mode win streak and not no struggle. We're gonna take a loss. Wait, what? How did she lose a thousand? It doesn't matter, I lost. I don't even care what happened. Rematch! I'm gonna use a different deck. I'm gonna have to transition to the delay deck, I think. Alright, so I'm actually gonna try one more deck before I go to my, uh... Before I go to my delay deck, and that's gonna be the spellcaster deck. Sure, one face up monster on the field. Ooh. Let's just. Hmm. I think I wanna be on the offensive. One max. How many max? This doesn't have a max. So let's summon this. Ah, eh, fuck it. Let's summon this. I think it can die probably fairly easily, but we'll place this counter on it. And this should give it. Two counters total, because it's also gonna get, uh, I can get this card back and I don't have to worry about drawing that again later. Should have two on it, and then can I act during either player's turn? I don't know if it's either player's turn, but I can't attack anyway, so. Let's see if I can just get rid of the first boss. Ugh, yawn. Jesus. I don't need a yawn. Soul recharge. Boom, 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 boom. So many cards, that's another, uh, thing for me. Okay. Oh, dude, I could I could destroy a head a high monster now. Boom! Give me that five. Can I activate the effect now? I guess not. I guess I just won't get the opportunity to. Lightsworn decks suck, man. This is turn two. This is turn two, and I have two 2,000 attack monsters and a random 1,000 attack monster to deal with. This is the second turn. There are already three monsters on the field. Ugh. Okay. It's gained 300 attack, max one, so that's not helping me. This isn't helping me either, actually. Um, shit. Okay, I'm gonna take another hit this next turn. Honestly, I think that's actually game, because none of the monsters I had would have withstood an attack anyway. He's probably gonna su <sighs> summon more monsters. She, excuse me, I don't know why I said he. It's clearly a she. Okay, sweet. Turn four, and we have five, mo five monsters on the field. But she has also burned through half of her deck already. So, oh, but I lost. Holy fuck, are you kidding me? So what do I do here? This is why I hate Light Sworn decks. It's just my, it's like my huge weakness. I just can never beat Light Sworn decks. Ah! Out of desperation, I have indeed switched to my delay deck, and we're going to see how this plays out for me. Um, it might be okay. She's going first, so she's already going to lose a lot of cards here. I've got soul absorption, but she can easily take out some... Okay, the only monster I got was Needleworm, so that kind of hurt. Oh, that could really fuck up a Light Swarm deck. Let's hope that stays in play. Give me soul absorption. Let's give me this so there's not an attack I gotta deal with. And then I get... should be getting life points from soul absorption anyway. So I can just keep using this. If necessary, I can activate Book of Moon. And then I can retaliate by just flipping Needle Worm and really speed up the process. Because of considering... Oh, shit. Ah, shit. I really needed that to... Oh, okay. Well, I can get some life points for that. Okay. Ugh. That's going to be a lot of life point damage, isn't it? Okay, never mind. Because... It's gonna have to be the one that attacks this. Does it negate effects? Please don't negate effects. Please still discard those five cards. Yup. Sweet. Thank you. Okay, soul absorption's really gonna be the difference here for me. And if I can get another thing that actually stops attacks. 
Because if I don't have anything to stop attack, well, I might not need to stop her attacks if she just keeps discarding cards and giving me life points. Okay. Spirit Reaper is good. I'm going to activate Book of Moon to get rid of those two spell cards. So that you don't switch the dog. I don't want it to destroy something. It should destroy both of the equips, right? Boom, boom. Okay. Select up to three for move from play monsters and return them to their owner's graveyards. No thanks. And then we'll set Spirit Reaper, who's my old buddy, a close relative of Marshmallow, who I would rather have had. But so far, this this duel, I've gotten the appropriate cards of what I've needed in the circumstance. And so I'm okay with what's going on here. Because I think I might just instantly draw her out. If she can't, if, like, once she can't pierce the wall, it doesn't matter, because she's discarding, like, oh... Damn it, I lost soul absorption. And she's not going to be discarding cards with Utopia. That sucks, too. That's fine, though. She's already down to 14 cards left, and this is turn 6. So, not too worried. Little worried, but not too worried. Uh, I guess set this into... What, what is Utopia's effect? When any player's monster declares an attack, you can detach and negate the attack. When this card is targeted for an attack, while well, it has no XYZ... Okay. Never mind. That's fine, because I can't take on Utopia, so I've just got to set it anyway, but destroying it will give me 500 life points. And then hopefully Spirit Reaper will, will hold a bit longer. Long enough for Ish Ishizu Ishtar. I always have the hardest time saying that to summon some more Light Swarm monsters, and with some more Light Swarm monsters, it's going to lead... Oh, wait, I don't have Soul Absorption anymore. That completely, like, glossed over that. But, anyway, I already have 11,000 life points, so that doesn't matter. It does matter, but not as much. Considering... What is that activating? Oh, wait, never mind. But, yeah. So, I mean, the AI's smart. The AI's not going to summon any more, uh... Light Swarm Monsters, because it now realizes it's in a defensive position. It can't just, like, go and attack, or it can't just go and burn through its cards, because now it has to actually do stuff. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck! Okay. Yeah, that's not what I wanted. Um, I didn't want that to happen. How many cards does she, do they have to discard, though? There's three. Judgment Dragon. Hmm. Crap. Okay, here's the thing. I need to withstand another turn. And then she'll draw herself out. If she doesn't summon anything next turn, it's 2,000. Let's see. Let me do some math here. 3,800 plus... 6,800. So I'm just barely alive. Selected with three from removed for played monsters. Do I... Okay, that doesn't matter. I can't set this. You can place one card from the top... from your hand to the top of the deck. Special summon this card from your graveyard. Or so... Yes. Because then I can have this thing take two attacks, right? That's how it's gonna work? Fuck it, because this either way this turn, since those cards are face up, unless she she doesn't have any X Y Z cards left, because you just ha just had Utopia, Judgment Dragon, not a good card to have to deal with here. Use your, f can I use its effect? Can I use its effect? No, 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 no. Can it not? Is that game? Can I not do this? Fuck me. I was so close. Three cards left, and the AI beats me. God, I don't even I don't even know what attempt this is anymore. But I'm not happy about it. Set, set. Mystic Tomato actually probably would have been a good call there. So that way, even if this card gets destroyed, I'd still have another one to go. Mystic Tomato will probably be my next summon. Boom! 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 Activate Gravity Bind. Yeah, Gravity Bind's good. Gravity Bind will prevent attacks. I just gotta let a Light Swarm deck fucking shuffle itself out. 
Any cards sent to the graveyard is banished instead. Boom. That's huge against the Light Swarm. I know there's probably better ways to do it, but I'm really stubborn and tired, and this is my favorite way to deal with the Light Swarm deck. It's obviously not effective, but fuck you. That's how I feel. <laughs> Alright, so when this card is shuffle all removed play and no, so I'm not gonna do this. This card is removed from play. Both players remove from play the top five cards of their deck. So I need to get this card discarded, is what needs to happen. I can probably do that. This card is normal summoned. So if I set it and it gets destroyed, that will that'll do it, right? So let's do that. And just never normal summon it. Yes. So there's a potential trap there for her to lose five cards. If she'll take it, who knows? She'll need something. Well, I don't know if she can, because she'll need something with... Well, that does have three stars, but it won't be able to take that out. Is that normal summon it? Nope. Sweet. That's because that's not what I wanted to do. I just wanted it to be there. Force her to draw cards. I'm okay with that, too. Let's see. Let's set... Mystic to no, let's not set Mystic Tomato. Let's activate this for sure. And then I can set Deep Diver, because when Deep Diver dies, I can place what card, or what monster I want on top of my deck anyway, which is going to be Marshmallow, and you already know that. Because, you know, why not help get help building the impenetrable wall? God damn it! That fucking... Okay, never mind. She fucking XYZ it. Thank Christ. I thought she was gonna start attacking with that. Oh, it's level four. Never mind. She couldn't. That's why she XYZ it. Woo! Hate that defense position monster thing. Okay. Luckily, I've got the magic card back up for that effect. Why didn't? Why was I not able to? What? What? Okay. Set that. We're gonna set Mystic Tomato. Because that will replace a card, even if I lose life points. Who cares? This isn't a battle of life points, this is a battle of making a Light Swarm deck fucking shit itself. Summon a monster, summon a monster and try to attack me. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Is this Judgment Dragon? No. Target two cards. Whatever. Hopefully. Can I hold the line here? Yes! Boom, I don't care. Oh, I lost Marshmallow. It's okay. It's okay. The AI lost five cards. That's big. That is very big. Ah. Here's another card I can set to reinforce that effect. Now I cannot. I will not activate any more magic and trap cards unless the next one's soul absorption. Because that is it. For that. That's how the story goes. Soul absorption would be very nice. But I think I might have finally boxed her in here. I think Gravity Vine might be what did it. Who knows? If Judgment Dragon comes out, I'm still all but fucked anyway. But if I can reduce the amount of life points she has by enough before Judgment Dragon comes out, or the amount of cards she's got before Judgment Dragon comes out, it might not matter. Let's see. Let's activate this. Let's see if I can get me Soul Absorption. Chances are no. But I mean, yep, there it is. That's another defense monster, at least, so just hold the line. Hold the line, not remain worried about it. I guess Mystic Tomato's effect didn't work, because he didn't get sent to the graveyard. I'm kind of invalidating my own thing here, but that's fine. Hey, that's four cards you'll have to discard it every turn. Why would you do that? Hey, that's, I mean, fine by me if you want to discard cards as fast as possible don't need to play Nightmare Steel Cage, because I already have things. Well, actually, that's not true. I probably do. I probably should have, because that's game this turn. As long as it doesn't get a solid direct attack, that's game. Utopia, obviously not affected by Gravity Bind. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'll just have to end this turn. What? Okay, I'm fine with that. That doesn't matter, then. GG! Even, yeah, even a direct attack with Utopia wouldn't have mattered. Discard those. And you don't have enough cards to discard. Thanks for playing Ishu, Ishu, Ishtar. It only took me three attempts with this deck. And then two other decks. And this being my longest one-on-one -on -one expert mode in a while. My fucking... 
My game finally slipped. Could have activated Book of Moon before that, so then I could have activated, used all the cards in my hand. But it doesn't matter, because my press end phase, it's my final attack. End phase. Boom. Ah, oh, fuck, I disconnected the controller. Hang on, technical difficulties. I won. I need to see what cards I got. There we go. Light Swarm deck recipe. What did I even get? That was the like her deck mascot, and I thought that was funny, because that's not even in her fucking extra deck. That showed next to her profile. If you go back and look at the beginning of this video, that was in her, like, right next to her face, but she only had Utopia in her extra deck. That's weird. Whatever, though. Alley of Justice. Grahalaga. Cool. So I got no Light Sworn monsters for winning that duel, is what you're telling me. So I still can't make a Light Sworn deck. Sweet. Alright, that was frustrating, but oh well. Lo and behold, we're moving on to Shadi next after taking down Ishizu Ishtar. Excuse me if I butchered all of those names, because I'm pretty sure I did. But that's it, you guys. You know the outro drill. Look at the descriptions. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Hope you guys really do that. I really want to start using Twitter, but a lot, it, they, I haven't gotten enough followers on it to just be like, hey, let's start doing this all the time and interacting and stuff. So hopefully you guys can follow me there. That'd be awesome. Share and subscribe these videos. And as always, comment the description or comment in the, not the description, below the description comment. And we can interact and talk and all that fun stuff because I always reply to my comments. And send me messages on Xbox Live to duel me in Millennium Duels. My gamer tag is Carmel Chewy. I will happily duel you eventually. Sometimes I procrastinate. I'm a busy college student that's also lazy. So, that is a factor. But you guys are awesome, as always, for watching, and see you guys around.